Hello everyone, Rav Ahuja here, and we are talking again to Kurt Gartner, Vice President and CTO for IBM Data Servers. Um, Kurt, can you tell us a little bit about what's new in DB2 version 9 for ZOS, and you know what are some of the key things that address some of the customer pain points? So each release of DB2, what we try to do is deliver some new enhancements that are the kind of things that you can take advantage of without changing your applications, because that's obviously the thing that the DBA can deploy and take immediate advantage, in, and it has the lowest cost for the enterprise, because you don't have to change programs, you don't have to coordinate activities across your team. So there's a number of those things in, in version 9 of DB2. We, uh, we improved utility performance significantly. There's a lot of improvements there in terms of logging and high insert rate applications so that if you had hot spots in your indexes or you had problems with page splits and the latency caused by page splits, all of those things are much better now in DB2 version 9. We also introduced a, a lot of new enhancements that were dealing with regulatory compliance and auditing. So if you're in an industry that deals with healthcare data or retail, dealing with credit card payments, uh, same sort of thing in finance with credit card records and PIN codes. We've got a lot of things that we help out there in terms of uh, encryption of the data. Uh, there's a new version of the storage system that will be coming out that can encrypt right on disk for you so that you don't have to pay mainframe cycles for that. We've also done quite a lot of work with roles where you can grant privileges to a role and then those privileges only take effect if you're actually running on a trusted application server that's allowed to perform those operations or if it's in the case of a DBA maybe you want to grant privilege to the DBA so that they can do some activity but those privileges should be revoked as soon as that activity is done. We're seeing a lot of that requirement now because people would like to give special privileges only for a short duration, and then the rest of the time that individual shouldn't have any special privileges. So there's a bunch of things like that in version 9 that really help with regulatory compliance, auditing, and trying to be able to pass some of those tests if you're ever audited to comply with some of the regulatory initiatives. All right, sounds great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kurt.